jurisdiction over the planned closure of care homes and day centres. Good evening, welcome to Spotlight. There's growing anger over Devon County Council's decision. Relatives are vowing to challenge it in the courts if necessary. We are not going to sit back and just let it happen now. We, we do want to put up a fight, yes. Hello also tonight, the government is told it must spend more on dredging to avoid devastating floods. A report says work needs to be done more often to help prevent scenes like this on the Somerset levels. A success story for a scheme hoping to cut the number of people suffering with type 2 diabetes. And the scores on the doors is this Britain's biggest World Cup wall chart. Families fighting the closure of residential care homes and day centres across Devon warn today that they're considering legal action. The County Council is closing 17 daycare centres for the elderly and 20 residential homes in a controversial move that will save around £12 million a year. Alternative accommodation will be offered to the 260 residents affected. The move means a thousand jobs are at risk. Well, we've two reports tonight looking at the fight and the options for care in the private sector. First, Spotlight's Chloe Axford looks at the campaign at all. At the Beechcroft Day Centre in Tynmouth, Beatrice Webster is just returning from an outing to the seaside. The 89-year-old has Alzheimer's and uses the centre four days a week. Her daughter Sue says the news of its closure was a shock. I was devastated by the decision because I felt it had so much before it, we might stand a chance of keeping it open. She just loves it here because she sees all her friends, don't you? Yeah. Meet your friends and you've been out for a nice drive, haven't you? Yes. Yes, and you're going to have some nice lunch now, aren't you? Yes, please. Yeah. The local Lib Dem county councillor says his party will be challenging the decision. OK, we know it's tight financial times. We know not all centres will be able to be kept open. But just the scale of the cuts is so dramatic and it will have such an impact on so many people. Over in Exmouth, these three sisters say Devon County Council has chosen the wrong family to take on over care home closures. Their mother is in the nearby Davy Court care home. They and other families are now considering challenging the decision to close it by calling for a judicial review or starting an e-petition, something campaigners in Doncaster have done. It's something we've got to look into, definitely. Mm. Definitely. We're not going to give up without a fight. We are not going to sit back and just let it happen now. We are going to work out what we've got to do and how we've got yeah. to do it and get it done properly, yeah, I think. The council says private sector care homes are cheaper to run than council ones and the quality is just as good. But the sisters say they won't be better for their mother. I don't feel that it would be the standards that we've got at Davy Court, no. not by any means. They've got no. very well qualified staff there, very understanding staff, yeah. and they really do treat our mum like one of a family, and they yeah. treat all the other residents like that. The sisters say their mother grew up here in Exmouth, living in the same house for decades before coming to Davy Court, and the fact that members of her extended family can still pop in to see her every day means a huge amount to her. The family have started looking for somewhere else for their mother to live, but say it could end up being miles away. Devon County Council says the money it saves from the closures will be spent on improving life for Devon's elderly, but the families I've spoken to today say that's just not good enough. Chloe Axford, BBC Spotlight, Exmouth. Well, Devon is one of the last authorities in the southwest to close its council-run care homes. Somerset shut its homes in the early 1990s and Cornwall handed over its residence to a private operator in 1996. Dorset runs just seven residential homes. The question in campaigners' minds in Devon is whether privately run homes will cope with the demand. Spotlight's John Henderson reports. Hey, I'm okay. All right. Sefton Hall in Dawlish is the sort of privately run home where people who leave the council homes could move to. Are you going to come into the dining room and have some lunch with us today? Yeah, I will do. Joyce Pidding came here after her husband died. She wasn't keen to leave her own home to begin with, but she's been helped by having family close by. I've got used to it. I find everybody friendly and very helpful, sort of thing. And I'm lucky because my son doesn't live far away and he comes and visits with his wife every day. The distance from families is one concern of campaigners trying to save the council homes. Geoffrey Cox, who owns Sefton Hall and three other homes, represents nearly 100 private homes in Devon. 
he says there is enough capacity and caring skills to cope. I think that nursing and residential care over the last few years has been very much more about more complex, more intensive care needs, and the, the, the skills has uplifted considerably over the recent times. So I would, I would say today there is a good skill base in the private sector. Elaine Dyer moved here from Cornwall a few weeks ago. She believes homes such as this offer an excellent level of care, so much so that her husband will soon join her. It's nice and homely and it's clean and good service. I, I might just as well be in a hotel, I reckon. So you're really happy here? Oh, absolutely. I was at home the first day. This is our little shop, which Les runs on a Tuesday and Thursday. Mm. So. But how can places like this do the same job as the Devon County Council homes for less? The answer is what concerns trade unions, reduced pay and conditions, seen in smaller pension contributions and no sickness pay. Does that not mean that the staff are less motivated or have less skills if they're getting less money? Well, that's the skill of management, isn't it? Um, it's not all about the money. Money is important, no, don't get me wrong, but it's also about looking after people, making people feel appreciated and, 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 them, and caring about staff so they care about the people they're looking for well and want to do so. Until now, councils have paid less per resident than those privately funding care places. Rows about this have ended in court. Talks are ongoing to set a new level of fees. John Henderson, BBC Spotlight. We'd like to hear what you think of Devon County Council's plans.